In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create different coloring pages for your students to work on and how to turn those coloring pages into a piece of math art where they're working out problems in order to decorate or color in that piece of art or that picture. So we're going to start by creating this heart and you can use different pieces of clip art or you can use the shapes that you have on PowerPoint. So I'm going to go to create a new slide. So on my new slide that's blank, I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to go to shapes. You can use different shapes or you can use different icons that you have stocked in PowerPoint to create your math art. I'm going to just use a shape. I'm going to use the heart. You can find that here and I'm going to stretch that out and center it. Now it's stretched out. I want it to be a white background and I want the border to be black and I want it to be thick. So there's my heart. Now I'm going to create different lines to just break apart that heart, break apart that picture. Okay, so here's your basic coloring page if you want your students to just have time to color. It's not really related to math or if you wanted to use geometric shapes for your students to color um, more so in the primary grades, you can just insert your shape, make it large, and there's a coloring sheet for them. To break it apart with the lines, I'm going to go back to insert. Go back to shapes and then select line and just draw lines going across the heart. And I'm going to get up closer to make sure the lines are reaching the edges. And we're going to change that line color to black and the weight, let's do about three. So let's go to the top and make sure it's touching the edge so there's no space. And there is our first line so we're gonna zoom back out and I'm gonna just duplicate that line and put it in a different spot and duplicate it again so all I'm doing is duplicating my lines and changing it changing the direction and where it goes on the heart. And you can also make smaller lines. So you wanna take your line and shrink it because you don't want it to be that long. You can do that. It all depends on how many separated areas that you want and if you're gonna include math problems, how many math problems you want, if you want a specific number. All right, so I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So if I wanted to create problems, I can have four sets of different types of problems. So that looks good. So now what I want to do is create the directions for how to solve their problem. So again, you can stop here with a coloring page um, with different parts and give the students the freedom to color it how they want, but we're going to add in math problems. So I'm going to create a text box and I want this to be subtraction so I want them to find the difference and if they are I'm going to give them the answer and they're going to color based on that answer so if the answer is five that means they are going to color it red color the space red If the answer is six, we're gonna color it green. We're gonna do one for seven and one for eight. Now we're going to go in and write the problems and you want to make sure they're spread out based on the colors that you chose. 
Okay, so it's gonna look like this when we're done because we wanna see how the colors are gonna be spread out across the heart, but that's not what you're going to show the students. You're gonna have basic um, black, or the problems in one color, probably black or gray, so that they don't know ahead of time which colors are gonna shade in the heart. So I'm gonna start with red, and I want these problems not to be that hard. So I'm gonna duplicate and do, let's change it to red. And we're going to make the problems like a two digit by minus a one digit number. 12 minus seven, that's gonna equal five. So I'm gonna put that there. And I'm actually gonna go to the smallest space and make sure that the item can fit. So if it can't fit, I need to make it smaller. But instead of making it smaller, I'm actually gonna move. So again, let's look for the smallest space. Here, so that fits. So 12 minus 7. So I'm going to do another one here. And let's do 11 minus 6. And then duplicate that again. Let's do one up here. All right, so there are our math problems to go along with our picture. So now we've created some math art that we need the students to um, illustrate based on the problems that they solve. So we're gonna just finish this up by adding in a border, a title, and some instructions. And there is our final product. So the, again, this will be your answer key. So if you wanna label that so you remember. And then you want to duplicate this and get rid of the answer key and then change all the colors to black. So then the kids solve it, and then once they figure out the answer, then they'll know what to shade in that space with. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you in creating a basic coloring page for your students to work on, as well as adding in different math problems for the students to solve to make it more math art.